already on. So we've heard from two industry groups from the UK and France uh, about the need for global support and to really help these startups get into new markets. Let's hear it from the startups perspective for a moment with Sebastian from Farmwise. Um, Sebastian, are you ready to ready to launch? I think so. Can you see my my screen? Can you see the slide on on the on the screen right now, Walt? Yes. Yes. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Walt. Um, and glad to be here. Uh, hi, everyone. So I'm Sebastian Boyer, co-founder and, and CEO of, of Farmwise. We're a US based um, US based company. We're actually based in Salinas uh, for for most of us. And we started up in 2016, uh, obviously realizing that farmers were in, in great um, need of help in automating some of the most tedious tasks in the field. And so very early on, we, the way we started the company was to partner with growers in Salinas and Salinaria to really understand their problems and build with them um, solutions to these problems. And so we today are providing a uh, robotic weeding service uh, to vegetable growers in California and in Arizona. Um, the team is about uh, 60 people. Uh, on the engineering side, we have people that are coming from um, self-driving car industries, um, space uh, industries, to help us build um, not only the best uh, uh, technology in terms of precision and, and, and data, but also uh, turn these technologies into something that's truly made uh, on the field. And so a lot of our uh, engineers are coming from universities uh, in California, such as UC Davis, Cal Poly, and so on. Um, fairly quickly about our approach. So what do we do? You can see behind me here, uh, one, of our, um, one of our hubs where we, uh, from which all machines are, uh, being transported to the field every morning. So essentially what we do is that we built um, uh, this machine uh, to, um, last year and we use this um, autonomous reader to provide reading services on, on the field, um, charging on a per acre basis. So the core of the technology here is to, first of all, identify weeds and crops. And I'll get into kind of how we do, how we do this and why this is relevant for more farming tasks as well. Then the second step is to, based on that information, um, move very precisely, but also very quickly, uh, uh, what we use to kill weed, which are blades. So we move these blades um, in the ground. And then once you made the decision of when and where to move the blades, you have the hardware um, components, which are obviously key. And the flexibility and the, and the precision of these hardware components is something that we put a lot of uh, efforts into. So you can see on that picture, uh, our first generation of machine, the one that we built uh, last year. And we've already um, weeded about uh, over one, 100 million crops uh, over the past two years. As we go through the field, and that is true for the weeding machine that we have today, as well as for other equipments that, we'll, uh, that we're building for all the processes. Um, our machines are always capturing as much information as they can uh, on every plant. And that information is uh, really useful for our customers today. And you can see here some of, their, um, some of their tools that we already have available. And we're obviously working with every one of our customers to iterate quickly on uh, these features to, to create more and more value for them. So again, we perform uh, a ro robotic weeding service on the field, and we use that service to capture uh, and analyze data that is uh, useful for the same farmers. Um, we work on a variety of different crops already, uh, which allow us to, for every single customer, to be able to work on many of their fields, uh, which is sometimes very useful. Uh, and we recently opened, um, we actually opened our shop this, this one here, uh, our shop in Salinas uh, at the beginning of last year. And we also in Arizona since uh, October. So I wanted to give um, everyone this morning like a, a snapshot of why we believe that um, artificial intelligence is a key technology that is going to change the way agricultural machines are built 
and why this is so useful for our industry, for the farming industry. So the way we see it is that one of the core difficulties for auto, uh, automating tasks in farming is the diversity uh, of fields and the fact that because you're not in a um, uh, industrial plant where you control everything, you're in a natural environment, you have naturally a lot of deep things that are going to be very different from one field to the next, but also from one day to the next. So I mentioned here a couple of dimensions, soil, crop type, weather, stage, but there are many, many other dimensions. And software and robot really don't like this. Uh, they like things that are exactly the same uh, all the time. And that's mainly why until very recently, we haven't seen a lot of um, uh, technologies really breaking, um, uh, really breaking out in the in the industry and getting adopted widely, uh, because it's very difficult to solve for all of that diversity. And you can see here an uh, example of what I mean by diversity. Um, so this is the same crop. So we it's not even here a question of different crop type. But everything else is very different. The, the light is different. The soil is different. The types of weeds, the number of weeds, the size of, of the weeds. Um, and so that is the diversity that you need to deal with when you work on automation for the farming industry. Um, and that's very hard. And that's why, again, classical software and technologies from 10 or 20 years ago really didn't manage to solve for that diversity, to solve all of these issues. And that's exactly where AI comes in, or artificial intelligence comes in. The, the power of artificial intelligence is to be able to use data from all of these different fields and kind of figure out not only, not like one rule or one algorithm per field type, but really like one general way uh, to understand what a field is and what you want that machine to do. So very similar to how the human brain works where we can um, kind of see patterns that are much more high level than the, the, the details of the pixels. An artificial intelligence algorithm is going to be able to understand all of that diversity and provides the service provider or the technology uh, provider with a simple way to solve for that diversity. So that really is the reason, in our opinion, why AI is so important for the farming industry. And you can see here the results. Like this is one algorithm. This is not one algorithm per field or here per image. This is really one algorithm for all of these images. And so the same AI was capable of uh, understanding what um, a crop really means in the context of all of these different fields. And that's really key uh, to building solutions that really scale and that are robust to, to every field. <laughs> So that is really the, the, the promise that we at FarmWise um, are on a, a journey to uh, leverage. And our goal is to leverage these technologies to solve real problems for farmers today and to help them with the issues that they have on the field on a daily basis, uh, help them uh, augment the productivity of workers and help them uh, reduce cost and increase uh, yield in different dimensions as well. So our thoughts on, in terms of harvesting challenges, because um, that's uh, obviously the, the theme, one of the themes of today, um, we obviously believe that the very similar technologies are going to be at stake here. Uh, you need to understand where crops are, localize them in, in, in space, and then have a physical system that is capable of um, quickly and very really precisely acting on these crops. So from that point of view, these technologies are going to be very similar to the technologies that we are today using to solve um, for to solve weeding automation. We also believe that there, there are differences. Um, the first more players and then longer timeline. And that comes from um, the, the, the fact that obviously the, the precision that you need uh, and the dexterity of the human hand when doing harvesting is much greater than the the precision and the dexterity of a hoe that is used to do weeding. Um, you have all of these different fingers uh, that a hoe doesn't really have. And so, and so that's where the, the, the differences come from. 
So all, uh, when we think about these different processes and when we think about harvesting in particular, uh, our approach is to following, we believe in like two, um, two things. One, the necessity to break down uh, the process in smaller chunks. Harvesting is this kind of big word um, for, for a process, but it's actually multiple processes happening uh, one after the other that are very different from a mechanical and, and technology point of view. And so we believe that one need to break down uh, harvesting into smaller chunks in order to um, start really creating value uh, in, on that process. And then obviously because the timelines are going more, the, the, the timelines are going longer and the overall complexity is higher. Uh, we're a big believer in reusing and partnering with, so reusing technologies and partnering with existing companies to try to not reinvent the wheel um, too much. And so obviously we think that there, is, there need to be like a strong system integrator, uh, but that individual technologies can be leveraged from different partners. And that's why we're, um, we've been ex excited to follow uh, the WGA's uh, efforts on building that consortium so, so these players can really talk to each other as often as possible. Thank you. Sebastian, thank you. That's a great overview from the startup perspective.